Hey, all my over-caffeinated, under-appreciated sysadmins. You know, many people ask, Lex, how do I get to be as lazy as you? And I know what they're asking. It's not how do I get to be just lazy, lazy. It's how do I automate stuff so I don't have to do repetitive processes. Let me show you quickly how you can do this using PDQ to deploy an inventory. First thing, let's talk about lazy and getting machines in so they're always, you get the right information and up to date. You go into inventory and you're gonna wanna go to options, preferences, active directory right there. You wanna set up your active directory sync. Now here's the reason this can make you lazier, right? One, I set this to go on a seven day cycle, which basically means any new machines that come into inventory, um, they're gonna add. Now you'll notice I've got it at mixed sync mode. If I wanna delete stuff, cause active directory is king and I don't have any work group machines or that, you're gonna wanna change this over to full sync. So when you delete stuff out of active directory, it's gonna come out. Okay, that's the first thing to do to be lazy. Take off that work from your plate. Now, the second thing you don't wanna do, okay, is modifying your scans, right? So inventory scans, these are the things that actually pull your information and your data. So if we go to our scan profiles, you'll notice the one scan that we've got right now that's scheduled is our standard scan. Now, you can do this with any of your scans so that you don't have to run them, okay? My personal favorite, I like to use when scan age is so many days old. And the reason I like that is if the machine's not on a Monday, I don't have to wait for the next Monday, right? As long as it's older than seven days, it's going to get that scan. The other thing about, again, and you can schedule this just like you would any, any of your other schedules, but that's the one I like to use, scan age. The other thing you can do to limit this, let's say you wanted to run it more aggressively, you can go in and link it to a collection. I only wanna run this on Let's say I just want to run it on workstations, no servers. Okay, and now I can run that more aggressive. It's not going to mess with my servers as much. Or let's say you need to aggressively scan, you know, accounting. Um, I don't know why I always pick accounting, but accounting machines, you can do that, right? If you've got a collection for it. So any collection that you have, you can focus a scanner against. Again, taking time off your plate, getting information more up to date. <clears throat> Now, another thing, right? Reports. Everybody's boss wants a report. Are you doing your job right? Are you this? Are you that? In fact, I use it for audits, right? And the way to automate this is to do an auto report. So if you come into auto reports, you notice I've got a bad apples one. Let's go and do a schedule for, let's say I want to pump out my applications report so I can show um, that my app, you know, my applications are getting updated. So we'll do a monthly apps report okay monthly apps now the great thing is i like to put this out as a file in off on a file share as long as you get a good unc path you can write it to a file share and when the auditors come or your boss needs it, you just point it at the report folder here you go they've got all the reports they need for now i'm just going to pop this bad boy out on my desktop so you get an idea there it is there's the unc path now again with automation the nice thing is i can go in here and i can do let's do it with the report name and the date so they can go month to month and see stuff has been being updated which is great and then you can choose your application type you know or excuse me the report type you know excel csvs pdfs i'm just no no we got to put an attachment there we're going to go with the csv okay and then triggers again we wanted to do this monthly let's say you wanted to be difficult and you wanted it on the second monday of the month you can go to week, day of the week we'll do it on monday and then we'll pump that out, I guess. Let me expand that just a little bit. We'll pump that bad boy out at, uh, I don't know, 6 a.m. on the second Monday of the month, okay? If you wanted to email it, you could. That's where you'd email it. Just make sure you set up your, your uh, SMTP relay, okay? And then ultimately, you just want to attach your report, and we're going to attach that application's report. So now that application report's going to run on the second Monday of the month, 6 a.m., just like clockwork, I don't have to think about it anymore. Once again, another thing off my plate, watch me get more lazy, guys. Um, another thing that's going to help you in regards to updating, we're talking about updates, we're talking about reports, right, is the fact that we can auto-download packages. Now, I've currently got my auto-downloads set to, if you go to preferences, auto-downloads, let me just drag this over here, currently set to seven days, which is great because I hate testing well, for anybody, okay? So it gives seven days for you know the rest of the world to test stuff and then I'm gonna put it out. Um, 
which rolls right into set it kind of a set it and forget it schedule, right? So let's go and just for kicks and giggles, let's schedule Chrome so we don't have to worry about Chrome anymore. Now you can do this with any of the packages from our package library, including your Windows updates. So we're going to go build a new schedule and we're going to name it Chrome. And we'll say we'll run that weekly. I always do stuff on Fridays, right? Because, you know, people aren't as apt to call me. I, let's, let's be real. I just want to avoid phone calls. So let's do it after hours, 8 p.m. <clears throat> I'm also going to set that heartbeat, and I'll set that a day after so that anybody who is offline on Friday will pick it up, you know, on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, right? Targets, again, the nice thing about um, lazy inventory is... Honestly, let's just say it's built for you to be lazier. It's so amazing. You go in and you grab your schedule, and we're going to go grab that, uh, the uh, schedule, this one right here, the Chrome Old, which I've got 30 machines that need to be updated, and which is great. So let's just bounce back over to my schedule. We'll go to Applications, Chrome Old. We'll give that an OK. Now, inventory is going to maintain that. I don't have to. Again, another step to the perfect lazy sysadmin. There's my package. Ultimately, I want to stop deploying to targets once they succeed. I'm going to give that an OK. And so every time a new version of Chrome comes out, it's going to wait seven days to download the new version. And then the Friday after that, it's going to start that process and keep those up to date. And I don't have to worry about it anymore. I know that was kind of fast, guys. But you know, you can go back to this video, and, and you too can be as lazy as me. I'm Lex from PDQ.com. Thanks for watching.